Hi everyone, Comic Book Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, The Golden Age of the Sith, issue number one. Now as you know, yeah, The Golden Age of the Sith was meant to tell the or the story of the, of the Sith, which were a sort of ancient breed, as well as two young space abrorers, Jory, as well as Gev. And keep in mind that, yeah, I actually got this comic signed by, by the cover artist at Comic-Con a few years ago. So, let's get on with the story. It starts off mainly in the, yeah, BBY 5000, where two young space explorers, known as Gev and Jory, search out other regions for big profits and that. And keep in mind, they're meant to find other systems and all that. And we see them saying, with a billion useful places to go in the galaxy, and a million unknown routes to get there, we've got to find at least one. So we kind of see how, yeah, both Jory and Gev are kind of finding other ways to make quick bucks and big money. And yeah, after using one of the space routes, we see how their system goes unintentionally haywire, and make it back to get to, 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 to the homeworld to get quick repairs. And keep in mind on the planet Galander, we see how Abba the Hutt talks with them saying, Oh, anything can be fixed, but can it be paid? Come on, sweetie, you know you're the, at the top of our list of creditors. And keep in mind that, yeah, because of their bad luck, They've had to sell their house, their stuff and that, and now that they're left without a ship, they have no idea on what they are to do. So we kind of see how, yeah, Gev kind of makes one fatal decision, putting his route on the whole, um, the whole sort of, um, guide thing, and keep in mind that, yeah, with a shady businessman known as Hesk, we see him saying... To be successful, Merchant Lord requires a certain amount of foresight. The new colony on Gola Mine and desperately needs these components and equipment. And so they send out their sort of drone ship. And keep in mind, due to it being destroyed, it loses a lot of cargo and everything else. And we see how Hisk learns to his dismay that he's lost everything and the people who had the space route basically screwed him over word of advice don't do this kind of thing don't make deals and money with dangerous people as you can get into trouble and we do kind of see how yeah joy kind of looks back at everything that's happened because yeah she's lost her family her mum and dad and they kind of have to kind of survive in that and we see how, yeah, there's a big celebration with Empress Tata. And we do kind of see a young Jedi who, who mainly says, I am Odin, sir. Jedi Knight, new assigned to the Kalos system to help secure enemies. Tata's new alliance for the good of the Republic. And we see how, yeah, even Tata talks with her, her advisor, Hemlet. And we do kind of see how, yeah, it turns out they that Jory and her brother were tested positive to become Jedi, but were quick to make foolish decisions as well. And we see how Gev talks with As the Heart, saying that everything will be fine, and that then and that once once their sort of new deal comes in, they'll have more money. But of course, sadly, we kind of see how because of his quick buck decisions, it gets him into trouble. And we see Hisk having his meal. And, of course, hires assassins to deal with being conned. And we kind of see how, yeah, assigns them the target. And we do kind of see how Jory and Gev have to deal with two assassins. And, yeah, after trying to survive being being assassinated, we see how they get help from Aldina and Hamlet. Of course, take them out. But of course, we see how one escapes after Odina got a bit carried away. We see how Hamlet points out that they aren't safe, and they need to make a quick escape. 
So they decide to steal Starbreaker 12, knowing that's the only way to get out of the system. But yeah, keep in mind that due to making another bad decision, Gev accidentally releases Abbas's sort of security droids, but of course makes a quick break for it. And after after trying to quickly escape, they make another bad decision and press a button at random, which is obviously going to set up the chain of events in motion. And yeah, this is the story. So I think, yeah, issue one is a bit lackluster, but at the same time, there is a bit of a message with the story about not making bad decisions, don't see things as a quick buck, and avoid getting yourself into trouble. As yeah, keep in mind that Joy and Gev lost their parents, but are quick to make foolish decisions, then really taking any responsibility and stopping to think if their actions did accomplish anything. And I like how the idea shows how a long time ago there was a lot of differences. Ships weren't big and massive, droids were just starting out. And that, yeah, there wasn't things like speeds to speeders and that, just that. It had this kind of fantasy feel. But I think the story definitely deserves a thumbs up. It's readable, it's interesting, and it's a shame that I think Disney didn't want to use the original timeline, given the fact there's a lot of potential. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.